Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. So today we're talking all about signature style and personal style, how to develop your own, how I have developed my own, as well as how I save a ton of money shopping. It's not an extension on your computer or anything like that, but it's just like a little hack I figured out that has saved me a lot of money. I'm going to give you guys examples of that too. And if you are new to my channel, then please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. I post about a lot of different topics. There's always something new to watch. So yeah, I hope that you find this helpful and let's get started. I also want to tell you guys that a lot of what I'm about to say and like the ideas that I have are my own personal perspective for myself and I definitely encourage you guys to really customize it and tweak it so that it fits your own style and your own lifestyle and your own preferences and all that stuff. So definitely, I don't want anyone to think that I'm saying like what's right and what's wrong. It's just what works for me and hopefully it will spark ideas for yourself. So yeah, just like think about it like that. So the very first thing I think of when it comes to a personal style and signature style is feeling and what you want the very first interpretation of your style to be is that fun, serious, professional, on trend, outgoing and we have probably searched for this on Pinterest before I know I've searched plenty of times for outfit inspiration and for me I'm always searching for like an on-trend outfit so I will search like summer 2018 outfit inspiration things like that that is a really good way to figure out the feeling and it also can be a mix of everything it doesn't have to be just one word because a lot of us want to be professional at work but outgoing when we're going out for date night and things like that something to keep in mind is a lot of us will have a different word based on what you're doing so you might want to be professional at work but on trend on the weekend so definitely have have those words and think of those and keep those in mind whenever you're searching for outfit inspiration or shopping and you see an outfit for work that you really like think is this professional because that is the number one feeling and interpretation that I want to have so yeah that is step one and then I also wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorite pieces for everyday looks that fall in line with the signature colors that I was talking about and just like where they're from and all that good stuff. So the first is a sweater from H&M. I wear this all the time. It's super comfortable and soft. This was in the $19 range. I think it was like right over $20, so very affordable. And then I also have a tank top right here from Target and it was super affordable as well. I think this was at a very similar price point, but it's just like a silky hot pink tank top. So I wear this a lot. And then here is a fitted, fairly casual dress. I've been wearing a lot this summer. It has like the floral on it. I love floral and I wear so much white as a lot of you guys know. And then I wore this in my last video. I just wanted to share this because I got so many questions on it, but this is a romper and I purchased this at Forever 21. I really, really have been loving that this summer as well. And I purchased a lot of sweaters from Nordstrom Rack, which is where this one is from. I always find like super nice quality sweaters for a very, for very affordable prices. I think I purchased this one on sale for about $40. And I also have this pink one. It's from Topshop, but I purchased it at a Nordstrom Rack and this was in the $30 range. And I have worn this one a lot lately as well. And then for denim because I love it so much and I'm actually going to put a pair on the screen right here that I get asked about so often and those are from Abercrombie. I purchased those on their website on sale for less than $20, you guys. They have really, really good sales online on their denim, so definitely have a look there if you guys like those jeans. But I also purchased a lot of them from H&M and the only thing with H&M is their sizes are so inconsistent, so you really have to like put them on in person and yeah, that's really something I recommend for H&M is shop in person and not online until their sizes are like way more consistent but I have a pair that are a light wash that a lot of you guys really like these as well they are a boyfriend style some distressing on the knee and then they button right here instead of a zipper fly and they have some more distressing on the other knee they're just like really cute and simple I think they look way more expensive than they are they're probably like $30 and these are another pair from H&M that I wear extremely often a wide cut a boyfriend so they have a cropped hem I find a lot of really cute pairs of jeans from Target that are extremely affordable and these also were an Abercrombie fine, so I wear a lot of white denim. Here's a better view of the white jeans from Abercrombie. I just wanted to show you guys like how many different things are going on on these jeans. They have some distressing as well, and then the embroidery. And again, I bought these online on their website on sale for $20 when the full price was almost $90. So I will link their website down below. I definitely encourage you guys to check them out. They're really nice quality, stretchy and comfortable. So yeah, I love those too. 
And then the next thing is color. So what colors do you want to define your style? I definitely recommend picking at least a few so you have options and especially pick colors that go together so you will have way more options when you are getting ready in the morning. And I'm always talking about pops of color on my channel. That is so me. When it comes to my outfits as well as my home decor, I just love a neutral with something bold to really balance it out. And it's just so fun and festive. That's like the number one thing I think of, but it's still something that can be very on trend. I'm sure a lot of you guys are a neutral style girl, so you really love a black and a gray and a cream. And then the last part of a signature style in my mind is the finishing touch. So this is something that you are known for. And a lot of you guys know I'm obsessed with rose gold. I have so much rose gold when it comes to our house as well as my outfit. So I'm always wearing a wrap bracelet from Tori Burch that has rose gold on it. My Fitbit band is rose gold. My wedding ring that I forget to wear all the time is rose gold. And then just regular gold as well, like the necklace that I have on and another bracelet. And I'm always wearing like fun statement earrings just because I'm obsessed with those too. But it could be whatever you want. It could be a black bag. You're always wearing a black bag or you're always wearing wedges. And this really is something that people would ask you for advice on. I also like think of that too when I think of the finishing touch. So yeah, think of something that is just like the final piece of your style. And then for hair and makeup, I just wanted to touch on this really quickly because I get a ton of questions on it. And I recently filmed an everyday full coverage look. It's the look I wear on an everyday basis. It's for the everyday girl. It's not at all for like the makeup expert because I break it down and show you my tips and hacks and all that good stuff. So I will have a card up here. Definitely check it out if you guys are wondering about the products that I use. A lot of them, by the way, are extremely affordable, like a few dollars. So definitely check that out. But for my makeup look and for my hair, I like it to be on the natural side, but plumped up. So I like to look like I have a full face of makeup on. I like to look like I styled my hair, but I don't want it like super duper perfect, if that kind of makes sense, because I don't know, I still want it to be like relatable and easy, but still feel put together and polished. So that personally is what I go for. And then for my hair, I'm always doing a loose and voluminous wave. I use a wand. I will link it down below for you guys. And I'm also wearing the Luxie hair extensions almost all the time. I feel like I've been talking about them a lot lately, but they're just so good for the price. So I always have them linked in the description box with a discount code. And I don't know, I just feel like I personally look so much better when my hair is a little thicker and a little more voluminous. Right now I cut a few of them to just like an inch longer than my natural hair. So it's just like thicker and more full and it looks better when I style it. And it's just one of those things that it's just like a little bit of extra hair, but it really makes such a big difference, especially like when I see myself on camera with hair extensions and then without them, I personally feel like I look so much better with a little more thickness and fullness. So yeah, that's also something that I do. And then last up is how I save a ton of money shopping. And I figured this out a while ago and now I do it almost every time I shop. So a lot of websites, it's like free shipping over 100 or 150. And sometimes I only want one thing. I don't want to spend that much money. So I will just do a copy and paste with Amazon. So if I'm on a different website, I just will do like a copy of the title of the outfit and then the name of it, like a dress that I'm going to show you an example of a dress I have not stop talking about on Instagram because I love it so much. So I copied that from a website where I found it for 140 and I pasted it into the Amazon search bar and I found it on Amazon for $29.99, same brand, same dress. The thing is with Amazon, there's way more competition. So prices tend to be so much lower. It also was a prime item. So that's free two day shipping if you have prime. And yeah, that has worked for me, you guys, time and time and time again. So I totally recommend doing that. I have like examples on the screen of that dress and how I do that. So again, I just do a copy and paste. I copy it from another website, see if it's available on Amazon. And yeah, it just, it seriously takes you like five or 10 seconds, but it obviously can save you a ton of money. So I definitely recommend doing that. One last thing before I go, I just wanted to talk about fall and winter boots real quick because we are almost in fall. And a few years ago, I started really investing in my fall and winter shoes and boots. And that's because I think they just last you so much longer. For example, I've had these for five years now, you guys. That is a very long time. I have worn these so, so much. And these are by Sam Edelman. I bought them on sale for a little less than 300. Whenever I buy shoes and boots for fall and winter that are just like very affordable, they're destroyed at the end of the year. They look horrible and they wear down to practically nothing on the sole. So that is why I spend a little more because I feel like it also saves you money in the long run But five years is a long time. So yeah, I just definitely recommend investing in a little nicer brand and it will pay off in the long run 
And that's all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you are new here, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Definitely check out the links below and recent videos. And I will see you guys right here in a few days with a brand new video. Bye.